begin the paper making process, harvested logs arrive at the mill. After the bark is removed, the logs run through chippers where spinning blades cut the wood into chips. Recycled paper is another important source of paper fiber. Thanks to curbside recycling programs in many communities, more than 57% of all paper used in America is recovered for recycling. The wood chips and the recycled fiber are then pressure cooked with a mixture of water and chemicals in a digester in order to make what's called pulp. The pulp created from the harvested logs and recycled fiber is washed, refined, cleaned, and then turned to slush in the beater. Color dyes, coatings, and other additives are mixed in, and the pulp slush is pumped onto a moving wire screen. As the pulp travels down the screen, water is drained away and recycled. The resulting crude paper sheet is squeezed between large rollers to remove most of the remaining water and ensure smoothness and uniform thickness. Paper making is like a giant chemistry experiment. To ensure consistency in the quality of the paper, mill operators carefully monitor each stage of the process. The semi-dry paper sheet is then run through a series of fast-moving heated dryer rollers to remove the remaining water. After the paper runs through the dryers, it is tested for uniformity of color and surface, water resistance, and ink holding ability. The finished paper is then wound into large rolls. These particular rolls are 14 feet wide, but paperboard rolls can be up to 30 feet wide and weigh close to 25 tons. A slitter cuts the paper into smaller, more manageable rolls. The paper rolls are ready to be made into paperboard, corrugated boxes, grocery bags, commercial packaging, coffee cups, cards and letters, and a million other uses.